Good day guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sinead van Wieling, Eat Your Heart Out. Thank you so much for viewing and subscribing my videos. I really appreciate it. Today we're just going to make a simple dish, plain and simple. If you don't feel like cooking or you are in a hurry and you don't know what to do, the best thing to do is, is to make a grilled chicken. You just put it in the oven with some onions and some lovely peppers and maybe a veggie here and there. You can also put in some butternut like I'm going to do it now. It's not going to be a sweet butternut anymore. It's going to be like more like a salty butternut and it is so delicious. Like you can have this like as in salty or sweet. The salty one is quite nice. It is just as nice as the sweet one. So we're going to put all this in one pan and just grill it in the oven. Like I use two onions where I just cut it up in a little bit thick pieces because we are going to grill it in the oven for about one and a half minutes. One, one hour and 30 minutes. As you can see, it's beautiful, nicely thick slices. Then uh, you just drizzle it with a little bit of oil. Just drizzle it, guys, because the chicken has its own fat and we do not want to use a lot of oils and stuff so you just put some little bit in just to just for the start of the grilling of the chicken then i'm going to place my butternuts as you can see it is nice thickly pieces that i'm going to put i'm putting it on top of my potato my onions and then also like i used uh, i had two carrots in the fridge and i just thought okay let me just use it because it won't be a waste Anything that you have, guys, you can just put it in what you feel you can use in your pan. Because we want to make it like a stew. We, we don't just want to have a, a grilled chicken. We want to have a little bit of gravy. And we want to use it with our pasta or our rice that we are cooking aside. Uh, or, you, or even pap. If, if uh, a lot of um, people like their pap, you can make some stiff pap with it. And it is absolutely delicious. So then you just pack your butternut in the pan. This is all going to be one beautiful dish. Then, guys, I've got some green, my red and yellow peppers that I chopped up. Also not too thin, guys, because if you grill it in the oven, it's going to get soft. And we really just want to see, there is my green, I see it, I can see my, my red pepper and my yellow pepper. Then you just put it in the pan, like that. So all of this, guys, it is a beautiful flavor. You cannot go wrong if you do this. And it is such an easy meal. Say, for instance, you've got friends telling you, I'm coming over. And you're thinking, oh my goodness, what can I make for them? Buy two chicken, guys. Buy chicken. And then two whole chickens. Fresh from your local supermarket. Two beautiful. I, I'm not cutting this off, guys, because this is all flavor. So then you just buy two whole chickens or one whole chicken. Depends on how many people there are. Husband have to eat. Kids have to eat. Friends uh, visiting or friends are coming to visit then you just do this and then you buy you can even buy like rolls and serve it with this or you can cook up some rice it's not even going to take you long and then there you have something to eat a supper lovely easy and straight to the point and delicious and it looks expensive and appetizing so there you have your two chickens Reason being, I do not want to put in a lot of oils because this chicken has its own fat underneath. That is why some chickens, they say it's, you have to, if you're on a diet, you have to take off the skin and whatnot. But we're going to grill it and all those fat is going to get into your pan and it's going to give it a natural, lovely flavor. So guys, I've got my spices here. This is a very popular spice, especially here in Woodbank. It's Ma Dolly's Worcester Sauce Spice. This gives the chicken a beautiful brown flavor. And it's, um, it, it's, it's, you know, when you, when you grow something, 
we don't want a white chicken we want a we want a grilled chicken that's brown and looks tasty so that is what we want we do not want a chicken that's like oh, but it looks still raw it, it doesn't look appetizing everything we do we want it to look appetizing and then before i forget guys you also can add like a spoon of garlic you can just put it in between your veggies like that there we go you can use one or two cloves just for the flavor just for the beautiful lovely flavor this is such an easy thing to do if you don't know what to do to make for your friends coming over this is the easiest it is not standing around by the pot you put it in the oven and you leave it there for one and a half one and a half hours okay then now i'm going to show you how i spice my chicken with my dolly spice we're going to just put it on over my mom always used to tell me you must rub your chicken in <laughs> so i'm going to rub it in guys and you put it all over inside outside because we want some flavor we want some beautiful lovely flavor so then you just spice it up guys and even in between the chicken as you can see when you just open an incision there like in between there and just put in some spice rub it in don't over spice it but i must say this is one of the spices that is not too salty and it's very delicious because it's a worcester sauce spice it's one of the best spices you can even use make having a bride so then this part you open it up and you put your spice in there guys believe me you want it spice in there we do not want a dry boring dull chicken we want it to be lovely and spicy and even on here you just rub it in guys you press it in the spice my mom always used to do that and i always used to look at her in the kitchen i thought why is she handling the chicken like a baby it's like she's rubbing it out so yes i'm rubbing it out guys so another chicken and look already the color of the chicken it looks so appetizing guys if you see me making a lot of chicken i'm not running out of ideas <laughs> the real serious cooking is coming see there i open it on the side of the chicken as you can see and then you just put in your spices in there inside the chicken make sure you rub it in lovely all this can get to all the spaces and the places in your chicken put some in there you can even stuff it up with some mince and like when you make a lovely uh, turkey a turkey a stuffed turkey you can do the same with the chicken it doesn't have to be a turkey only like for instance if i should have had some stuffing i was going to stuff it in there but then i feel this is enough it's a saturday night saturday we just want something not too fancy out of our way my visitors is coming i'm getting friends over and i am serving them grilled chicken with veggies and some lovely rice or spaghetti that you just boiled you don't have to go out of your way guys look there's my chicken it is all spiced up and at the ends too you rub it in because you really want this chicken to be fabulous we want to taste the food we are south africans and we know what it is to eat some good food <clears throat> pardon then last but not least if you have any spices left over in your cupboard that is sitting right at the end you can throw it on your chicken so firstly i'm just gonna put drizzle it with a little bit of <coughs> sorry 
olive oil just on top just so the spices can stick and guys don't forget my roast potatoes there is my lovely potatoes that i boiled halfway through it's not it's actually soft but still if you're gonna grill it in the oven with your chicken it is going to give it such a lovely flavor so then you throw some of olive oil on top of your actually you know what i shouldn't have thrown that water out you can just throw some water in to your pan because we want the veggies to simmer in the oven as well okay then we're going to pack in our potatoes our beautiful oh just look at that potato isn't it lovely then you just pack it on top this is like you are already eating with your eyes everything is nicely placed they sit on moi also look at this beautiful one wonder who's going to be the lucky one who's going to get this one <laughs> and what's nice about the potatoes that i boil first because of the butternut butternut just steams it's like phew, it's ready it steams within like 10 15 minutes potatoes you take a risk sometimes but some people will disagree especially my family they will say you put in the raw potato in this and we're not going to boil it it's going to be it's going to be fine but anyway i'm just playing it safe see so now you don't have to worry and check on your potatoes is it soft because potatoes really sometimes want to be boiled want to be cooked and then you just put it in there see where i put that one right under the bum <laughs> so the fat can drizzle on there people the fat the natural oils of the chicken must drizzle on the potato and what's nice about this whole idea the potatoes are going to roast beautifully see so when you have people over don't give them some butt chips people don't give them some butt chips and knickknacks and lace we want food we want food yeah so cook just this is not even cooking this is just weighing everything together we don't want bread we don't want sandwiches you don't even have to make a snack if you do this you have this it's like a showstopper and everyone will enjoy especially your friends your family they will say wow you see where the potato is <laughs> it is right under the ass and that one too there guys this already looks so delicious and last but not least this is finished this is my spur texan steak spice so this is what's left of the spice we are going to throw it on top of the potatoes here we go guys Ooh. doesn't this chicken looks absolutely lovely why do we need to go out of our way if you can pay a hundred rand for two whole chickens you have onions in your cupboard you've got a butternut somewhere or a veggie somewhere it's just lying there and then that's it you just pour in a little bit here on the potatoes and guys look at that yummy 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 hmm it's not even grilled yet so underneath we have the onions the butternut the peppers if you don't have peppers it's fine we don't need peppers in our life onions is fine even if it's one onion it's going to give it a flavor even if you don't have garlic it's fine so then last but not least you put in like a cup of water <clears throat> because when you grill it guys it needs to steam up everything from underneath and then all the fats will grow down to your veggies 
so we're not gonna add oil we don't want an oily dish we want gravy you know me and gravy i like yes so then you put some this is like a cup two cups maybe i think you will just see guys how can you see the gravy there we go clap and it's not going to be spicy it is going to be delicious and you can just throw some over your potatoes so it doesn't have to be too dry just a bit just a bit because when we grill it we're going to turn it over then there's going to be lovely beautiful oils in the pan from the chicken its own fat so just look at that you can even put this piece that's hanging you can just put in like a pepper in there just put in a pepper in there and then you can even put a butternut in there for flavor flavor people we want flavor put in this but no it doesn't fit so we're just going to take green pepper I mean red pepper, I don't have green peppers, I just use what I have in my fridge. And that is what you should do. Use what you have, guys. Don't be despondent and say, oh, but I don't have this, I'm not going to make it. No, you do it, do it, do it, do it, and you'll be so happy. Okay, now it's ready for the oven. I will see you in a while. The oven is all warm, it's all hot, and we are going to put it in the oven for one hour and a half if you have a very strong oven it can be an hour so we'll see guys there's my chicken it's busy grilling as you can see it looks beautiful in the oven and I also put my oven on 230 on the highest because we want it to grow and not steam as you can see lovely so we'll see you in a while when the chicken is ready to come out but then I want to show you also while making the chicken you have to grill it on the other side as well so you have to turn it like when you see it's becoming nice and brown on top you have to grill it guys okay so then it needs to be grilled on both sides because you want all the oils of the chicken to get in your pan to make a lovely gravy so we'll see you in a while thanks for joining in to Sinead eat your heart out